In our never-ending quest to find some of the best free software available, we've come up with six free programs that we think are absolutely awesome. Most of the software I share with you is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And as always, these programs are highly trusted and can perform many of the same tasks as high-priced software. Let's get started. First up is OBS Studio, which is a free and open source screen recorder. It's great for recording projects that can be saved to your computer and for live streaming of video games or anything else that you want to stream live. I've used several screen recorders and OBS Studio is the best that I've used. Unlike most free screen recorders, OBS does not have any forced watermarks and you can record with up to 60 frames per second. Here's what the program looks like when you first launch it. There's too much to cover in this short video, so I'll just go over a few of the basics. It'll show you the screen area that will be recorded. You can start live streaming by selecting Start Streaming, or just selecting Start Recording for a recording that will be saved to your PC. If you go into Settings, you have several options that can be changed, which will vary depending on whether you live stream or you plan on creating projects that will be saved to your computer. One thing I'd recommend doing is going into the hotkey settings and adding some hotkeys that will make your life easier. If you plan to try out the software, there is a slight learning curve. There are several videos on YouTube that will get you started, and OBS has an expansive help section on their site. The latest release for OBS Studio is available for Windows 10 and 11, Mac OS 11 and newer, and it's also available for Linux. PhotoSketcher is software that'll take your pictures and turn them into artwork. I find the effects are a lot better than those found in online photo editors. Let's jump right in. PhotoSketcher is really easy to use. Select the blue folder and then select your picture. If you want to zoom in on your image or zoom out, you can use the magnifiers located in the upper right hand corner. Select the paint icon there are more than 20 different drawing styles that you can choose from. If you hover your mouse over each style, you can see an example. For this one, I'll go down to Painting Effects and select Painting 6, Oil Painting. You can change the strength of the effect along with other settings. I'll just leave them where they are and select Draw. And then just wait for it to finish. And you'll see in the right pane, it's created a cool looking oil painting. In the banner at the top, you have the options to add text, to undo or redo your changes, and to save, just select the floppy disk. Next up is Bleachbit, which is a free and open source disk cleaner, privacy manager, and can help to optimize your system. This is for those people that don't want to use the built-in tools on their computer's operating system. My preferred disk space cleaner many years ago used to be CCleaner, but as I've mentioned in prior videos, they've had some issues over the last several years, making them no longer trustworthy, including a recent data breach exposing its customers' data. With Bleachbit, you can delete cookies, free cache, clear internet history, delete logs and temporary files. Plus it can clean thousands of applications, including Google Chrome, Firefox, Adobe Flash, among others. Here's how you use it. First off, before making any major changes, it's always best to back up your system. By selecting options in the left pane, it'll show you what it does to the right. With Firefox, it says it'll delete backup files, delete web cache, delete cookies, and all sorts of other stuff. What I like is that it'll give you a warning if you're about to do something that could be detrimental. For example, when I select Firefox, the warning says that this option will delete your saved passwords. So I'll select Cancel. You'll notice by selecting Cancel that it left everything for Firefox checked except for passwords. Don't check anything in the left pane unless you're 100% sure that you know what you're doing. I'll check off some more stuff here. I'll do Flash and Google Chrome. Get that same warning here. I'll select Cancel. After you've made all your choices, select Preview. This will show you everything that Bleachbit will delete. Shows here the disk space to be recovered is about 1.3 gigabytes. Now all you have to do is select clean. 
and you'll get a warning, are you sure you want to permanently delete files according to the selected operations? If you're okay with that, select delete. I won't do this now, there's a couple other things I want to show you, so I'll select cancel. If you select help, you have the options for release notes and system information, but if you select help contents, and then hit OK. It will open a web page with links to view documentation, the official BleachBit forum, and you can watch video tutorials. BleachBit is available for Windows and Linux. They also have special versions for Mac OS, email servers, and for the one or two people out there still using an old Blackberry. Next up is Kodi, which is a free and open source media player software. If you've ever used Plex, it shares some similarities. You can use Kodi to view media directly on your computer, or if you have a supported smart TV or streaming device that also has a Kodi app, it allows your PC to behave like a media server to be able to stream your movies, TV shows, music, and other media to those devices. What brings a lot of people to Kodi is the add-ons. There are several categories of add-ons for video or audio to stream internet content. They also have add-ons for skins to change the look and feel of Kodi, add-ons for weather, and so many more, which are all completely free. After you install Kodi and first launch it, you may get overwhelmed. There are all these categories along the left-hand side that are empty, which you have to link to before it'll show up in the main window. You'll also want to go to the settings menu, which will have several categories for you to set up your preferences. If Kodi is something that interests you, there are hundreds of tutorials on YouTube to check out, along with documentation and how-to guides on their site. Kodi is available for Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, iOS, and Raspberry Pi. Flux is a program that adjusts the color temperature of your display according to your location and time of day. Blue light emitting from your screens in the evening can make it more difficult to sleep. Flux reduces the blue light levels. It's impossible to demonstrate because the color temperatures can't be recorded, so I'll just go over some of the settings. You can change the 24-hour presets. I personally prefer Reduce Eye Strain. If you click on the sun icon, it will show you a 24-hour preview. There are also other settings that you can change, and it can also be paired with the Philips Hue lights. Many operating systems now have a built-in night mode, but none that I've used are as good. Flux is primarily available for Windows and has experimental versions for Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. This last one for you is LMMS. This one's not for everyone. It's made specifically for musicians. LMMS is a free and open source digital audio workstation for creating music. It comes bundled with an assortment of instrument and effect plugins. You can produce music by creating melodies and beats, synthesizing and mixing sounds, and so much more. When you're working on a project, this is what the overall layout will look like. If this is something that interests you, I'd recommend checking out their documentation section that has a lot of resources, including video tutorials. LMMS is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If you use any free software that you think is worthy of being mentioned, let me know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos and our free software series and other tech-related stuff.